Kaylee, your team is up uh, two, two, with two wins here at the ESSO Cup. What does it feel like to have those under your belt just two days in? Well, it's really good coming into this week because it's lots of pressure here. And having two under our belt with two wins, it's a, it gives us a good start for the week. And you scored half your team's goals. The final score was 4-2. You got two of those. How did those come together on the ice for you? Well, you know, just driving the net and having a nice pass from your teammate. Not much you can't do, right? You just got to score it. What do you think is clicking for the Thunder this week? Well, we've always kind of been like an all-around team, and we skate hard, and we kind of just come together on big occasions like this and pass and shooting. We just work together. Alana, how does it feel to be up two games on day two of the SO Cup? Oh, it's great. It's, uh, it's a really good way to start, and I think just keep rolling from here, and it puts us in a really good position moving forward. What's working for you guys this week so far? Um, I think it's our team is playing well as a team. Um, it's something we've talked about all year, and it's just having everyone contribute, three solid lines, six solid defense, and, you know, goalies, everything, just getting it from everyone. What's the atmosphere in the dressing room like? Oh, the girls are so excited. Um, even setting up the day before the game or the tournament started, um, they've just been pumped. They're just ready to go, ready to play. Now, Emma, you've uh, suffered two tough losses at the ESO Cup so far. What do you think the Arrows will have to do this week to overcome that? Well, we are a strong team, and our team has bonded very much. So we just have to get back on our horse. You know, we, we had a rocky start, but there's a lot of hockey still left to play. So it's there's still lots of hockey left, so yeah. <laughs> on the ice, our team, we're doing really well. We're moving the puck well. Sometimes we, we had a couple of mental errors, but you know, it's just early in the tournament, so. There's still lots of hockey left to play. How have you and your teammates been preparing for this week? We prepared a lot throughout the season. Um, we did a lot of team bonding events. We've 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 dedicated this weekend to our parents, and our parents have have put a lot of effort and everything to making this this week special for us by making us posters and writing us letters to encourage us and to remind us how important we are in everything. Haley, how do you think the Arrows did in today's game? Well, obviously it's a loss, so that's not our ideal situation. Uh, our first two games, we've lost both games, so um, we're looking at a, a tough road for the next next bit of the week, but one thing I know about our team is that we know how to bounce back, so I have all the confidence in the world that the girls are more than prepared to come back in and battle back the rest of the week. What do you think they have to do mentally and physically to get ready for the rest of the week? You know, I think that our girls have come a long way this season, and I think that they're uh, physically. I think that they're physically prepared. I think on the mental side, obviously, it's not easy losing your first two games at nationals on a scale like this. But I think that we're going to have a little meeting when we get back to the hotel, and hopefully, get all the girls back on the same page and just mentally just calm them down and tell them that there's still tons of hockey left to play. So I'm confident that we can get back at it. <laughs> what do you think are some of your strong points so far this week? Our strong points definitely are that we have been down. Our first game we played, we were, we were down going into the third period, and we bounced back, and we ended up tying the game. And going into a shootout, again, we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but still, we were able to bounce back. And again, today, the same situation, same scenario. Like I said, we lost, but I mean, that's a characteristic of a championship team is being able to claw back when it doesn't really look like you can. So I think that's, that's something that we need to build on.